All right, Aries and Aries rising, welcome to your 2024 astrology energy overview. I say astrology and energy because, of course, I intuit, um, you know, the energies through the astrology, but, you know, putting them all together and feeling it out and helping you see what you can expect for this next year coming up. So, of course, we've had really since 2020, life has been very different. As it feels like things speeding up, right? And I know Aries, especially Aries rising, you all been through it, man. Um, I mean, we all have to a certain extent, but for you guys, this has been about your identity and your life purpose, the work that you do, right? Like what you're meant that the bigger vision of what you're meant to, um, what your soul is calling you to create in this life. So the big focus for you this year is going to be between, well, Let's start with the eclipses first, right? So the eclipses are going to be in your first and seventh house, with all ha with, with, which has to do with uh, your identity, your ego self, all right? Now, the ego is not inherently good or bad. It's the shadow that actually good, or, good and bad is something that, you know, we create um, from a subjective perspective to label it. And actually, these aspects that you have going on this year is designed to help transcend that concept, that philosophy between good and bad. Because essentially, nothing is really good or bad. It's the, the things that, that feel challenging, that seem difficult, are those opportunities to grow and transcend and clear out and look at the shadow aspects of where we've been holding ourselves back. And that almost always comes from us trying to lead the way with our mind. This year for you in particular is leveling up and clearing out all the leftovers um, from 2023. In 2023, we, get, we had a lot of really big karmic lessons, right? And now with Pluto, that's gonna be sitting on the cusp of the 10th and 11th house, uh, pretty much the whole, really the next like year and a half, you know, two years, uh, but, specifically uh and this is specifically if you're a zero degrees aries rising but it's gonna you know fluctuate back and forth a little bit between the energies but this is between your life purpose and like really fully activating the highest vibration of the divine masculine in your consciousness and from that place understanding where we need to go who, who we need to connect with or what we want to create and seeing and understanding deep down to the core of our soul of what we want to create in this world to make the world a better place. Now, uh, the first part of the year, we're going to see Mercury, Mars, and Venus conjuncting Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. Now, don't forget, we also had the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in 2021 in December. So, this is coming to the next part of this bigger cycle. Really, we're stepping into two significant 20-year cycles. It started in December of 2021. And, you know, of course, we had a little taste of it when Pluto went in to zero degrees at, at uh, March and April of 2023. And now in 2024, we finally have Pluto moving almost. It's going to go back into 29 degrees Capricorn for like a month and a half at the end of the year. Uh, but for the most part, it's now in Aquarius. This is kicking off and now starting to take action on the revolutionary energy of creating what we want to create. And that's going to change things of what we see, of what we uh, what we want our lives to look like. Right. We're going to find ourselves being drawn to new things that that activate our passion. So you may towards the end of 2023 into the beginning of 2024, you may be feeling like nothing's really stirring you know, nothing's really nothing's really um activating that passion or nothing really feels right this is because you're at the end of this uh ego based identity right like so in the second half of this year of 2023 it's all been about letting go surrendering kind of dying off right shedding the last part of the shedding of the skin 2024 is now we've fully shed the skin but now we're like an infant Right. So now that we have more trust and more faith uh, and more confidence in where the universe is guiding us for our soul's purpose, 
things are going to start to come in as opposed to Aries likes to go after things, right? It's no longer about going after things. It's about allowing to receive. And when we receive it, we process it. And then we navigate it one step at a time in the present moment. Now, I will say that Neptune being at 29 degrees for five months this year, uh, from May to September, that's going to be sitting at the anorectic degree in your 12th house. So this may feel like you're really in a way dying. This is going to be really intense for activating your psychic or intuitive capacity and gifts. And it can be very confusing. So it also with Saturn now um, in uh, Pisces as well in your 12th house, this is this is you got spirit teams working very, very deeply uh, in your consciousness to bring you to this next place. But there's still a little bit of karmic clearing that has to happen if you are still trying to escape. This means that you have to feel everything. So 2024 is all about feeling. Because with all the discomfort, when you allow yourself to feel all that, then all the good stuff comes after. So it's like you get the test first, then you get the reward from the test after, and then it all makes sense. Then everything comes together. But until you experience that, it can be very confusing and feel like, I just don't want to feel this stuff anymore, right? But with Mars, Venus, and Mercury all passing over Pluto here between your 10th and 11th house, this is this is giving you those little niblets, those little drops of inspiration, those drops of understanding, those drops of motivation and energy, the drops and hints from the universe of bringing people into your life and showing you things that can be uh, particularly out, out in the world too, right? Like we are all shifting and morphing as the world, um, you know, moves into a new phase of consciousness within herself as well. Now, as this is all happening, we are going through the bulk of the shifting of our identity, of the death of an ego identity, and the birthing of a new, more responsible, uh, more, um, more ready to really live in the present moment and thrive uh, in the responsibility that we take for what we want this world to look like. So this is no more sitting back and it's not like you're gonna have to try. It's gonna naturally happen and evolve over time. But this is gonna be, look, if someone comes into your life and you see red flags, it's gonna be your responsibility to yourself because Chiron can jump the North Node in the first house, right? Is still testing our identity to be able to see, hmm, okay, this person, I can see there's an interior motive because you're gonna be super, super in tune with your intuition. But that's going to also test your self-worth, your self-confidence, like the rules that you that you created based on your emotional state. So have you really learned the lessons? And if you have, you're going to have so much abundance and so much beautiful stuff coming into your life, but it will challenge you. Do you really know who you are? Is what you want to do in this world truly authentic? Or is there something else? I can give you an example. Like back in 2013, you know, I was heavily competing in bodybuilding. And I thought that's what I wanted. I wanted to become IFBB pro and I wanted to... I wanted to just be a sponsored athlete and make money just, you know, lifting weights. You know, that would have been great. But when I went, I went from light heavyweight to heavyweight. And uh, in 2013, when Pluto was exactly conjunct my son, I had my last show and I placed horribly. Everything that could have gone wrong did. I was supposed to be on a reality TV show and it canceled the last minute. And I had to fly from Vegas to Miami and I had no money because I spent it all on food and, you know, everything getting ready for a show. Um, and then my coach backed out of me like the last three days when I needed him the most. And it really messed with my identity. It was like, and I, I looked pretty good actually too, but I placed like 33rd out of 38 guys. There was the, that, that, that class was stacked and I, it just demoralized me. So after that, I went to massage school and I learned to slow down and breathe. And then that's when I learned that I had this intuitive gift that I could feel energy. Right. So the, these things that are coming up, you're not going to quite understand it. That's why you have to trust it, right? Now, not only that, but we have Venus that's going to conjunct Pluto uh, here this year twice, all right, at zero degrees. So there's something that we're opening up, clearing out to learn to receive in a deeper level. The culmination of all these energies is not going to culminate to 2025 when Neptune and Saturn conjunct at the cusp of Aries. That's gonna be a huge, huge time in this bigger 20 year cycle where you know there could be a lot of fame, there could be a lot of, of uh, 
of attention. But right now, at least we're not digging down anymore, you know, excavating the trauma. Now we've excavated all the trauma. Now we're at, at, at the very depth of it. Now it's time to start coming up. All right. But as we come up, there's still, it's sort of like we're seeing the opposite side of the coin now, these energies. All right. Now we're also going to have the Jupiter Uranus conjunction uh, at 21 degrees of Taurus. That's in your second house. So this is excellent for unexpected opportunities with money, with connecting with new people, with like, so if you have a business idea or if you're working for someone and you're like, you know, I feel like you deserve more. I want to raise, I want to do this. You know, if you're, tr if you're coming from your heart and you're truly authentic, you need to speak that into existence. You need to step into it and take action. This year is all about taking action into those uh, un uncomfortable places and trusting and knowing that you deserve it. And when you have that vibration, you will manifest it. That's how it'll work. And this is what the Jupiter Uranus conjunction is going to like promotions and like opportunities and investments and loans and all this kind of stuff. Um, and it will make you busy and it will make you like things come together, but you got to stay on top of it. Okay. Um, so, you know, there, there are, there are many other um, aspects here that are going on this year, but what I want, what I really feel like we need to drive home here is this Pluto energy on the cusp of your 10th and 11th house and the Neptune energy with Saturn in your 12th house with the um, nodes uh, in the first and seventh. So we also saw Pluto square the nodes between the 10th, the first and the seventh house, right? So that was, so that was 2023. That was six months of 2023. All right. So that was breaking down anything that didn't have a solid foundation in our lives. All right. So whatever changed for you in this, you know, from uh, spring to autumn, basically, you know, I'm filming this, in October, so till now, uh, 2023, whatever happened, whatever shifted, whatever changed there, that was to clear out what was not at the highest vibrational good for your bigger purpose, all right? Remember, we're at the very beginning of two very deep, very intense, never seen before 20 year cycles. So we're just babies, we're just infants in this new place. So maybe you've been feeling tired, maybe even going through like a dark night of the soul or, you know, clearing out a lot of tough stuff. Trust it. You know, like if the universe offers you a way to relax and to chill, even though you can't do everything you want to do, it's not your time. This is all about like the universe is saying it's time to trust and it's time to look at all these codependent things, all these ways that we've been keeping ourselves living small. It's time to really step out in the world in 2024, learn the rest of these lessons, and then solidify that in 2025. So we're going to see a lot of opportunities to become leaders and to take accountability in our lives in 2024. You're going to be facing some fears. You're going to be facing some insecurities. But as you do that, you're also going to be realizing how much, how strong you are and how deeply intuitive you are with regards to what's going on in the world. Yeah, that don't feel right. Yeah, that does. And trusting that, is the biggest lesson of all these because when you trust it, then you go out in the world and you're not afraid anymore. Because fear is false evidence appearing real, right? And we've all been conditioned. We're all being bombarded with things that are making us afraid. So we need to connect ourselves with people, places, things that make us feel good and give us knowledge and wisdom and understanding about what's going on. And when we feel like we have that kind of support, we can create a safe space. And it's that safe space within ourselves, which also requ requires us feeling our emotions. And when we can feel them and allow that to be okay, creating that safe space within, then suddenly we, we, we surround ourselves with other people that feel that way too. And now we have a community. And this is what this, you know, the Hopi prophecy talks about, building this community with all these, you know, with, with, with humanity. You know, with in, indifference to race, creed, and, you know, uh, sexual orientation, all that doesn't matter because we're all human. So we all got to support each other, right? No more of this. We're going from a conflict based consciousness to a co creative based consciousness. And we have to remember that. All right. So I, I hope this reading helps. If you resonated with it, please leave a comment down below and send this to all your Aries friends. Let me know. Um, 
Uh, if you'd like a reading from me as well, and please like, share, and subscribe. If you want a reading from me, you can, the, everything's in the description box below. You can also go to my Instagram at spiritual underscore bodybuilder and uh, go to my link in uh, my bio there too. All right. Hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful year. I hope.